Check this out. We have a simple file which is named con.tct and con.exe. And believe it or not, these files cannot be deleted nor you basically can't manipulate these files at all. And to prove that, I will right click on this file, go delete. Uh, you can't, no matter how many times you actually try to delete the file, or if you want to, for example, move it to a folder, well, no worry about it, you can't really do that either, no many, no, like, doesn't matter how many times you try this, and to top it all off, if you want to rename this file to anything you want to, and click OK, it just won't work. And also, if you right-click on this file, go to, for example, 7-zip, and add this to an archive, for example, it might look you can, you can even rename this to, for example, .zip, and click OK, and it will just get frozen here and say the system cannot file the file specified. Wow. So what even is this magic file that you cannot delete? And what if hackers can make malware, for example, that will create millions of these files and you just cannot delete them? So today, in today's video, I'll show you how you can still create con files, even though many people online told you you can't. And also, I will show you how you can delete these files so you don't have to worry about it if you somehow stumble upon this on your system or anywhere in the wild. So, let's get going. And maybe if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course, which is down in the description box below. Now, let's get started with the video. Alright, before we get started, I have to do a little bit of a les Windows lesson to you, which I'm assuming you all know, but this is just a nice introduction so you understand what am I talking about better. So there is a nice little command on the Windows called echo, and what, what I, I don't know what I've done, but <laughs> let's get echo, and for example, you can say hello, and if you basically hit enter, it will display hello in the console. It's very useful sometimes. So you want to, for example, save hello into a file named hello.txt, so you can use this arrow and then that arrow points to hello.txt and you can save this for example so once you type ls you can see boom there is the hello.txt and if you want to read that file with the type command you can say type hello.txt and you can see the contents of that file it is very simple and straightforward but you might know that windows just doesn't allow you to create anything con related for example if you want to create a file con.txt for this instance and click enter a ah, file stream was asked to open a device that was not a file so what does that mean well you just cannot create files that contain con in the name or are exclusively con in the name so why would that be well let's go back to the old days a bit in all versions of windows you can't really create a file or a folder named con and this person tried to create a con.txt in the notepad which leads to an error which we just shown and somebody answered here con is a name of a system io device the console and basically in the old days it was common to in dos to create a file and i still th do this occasionally with for example the command the person has shown us so a bit of history here you can't create these and uh, we've been told you can't really create these files but you actually can and some of you might already know that you obviously can do that but there's a little bit of a trickery behind it and basically once you create that file, you can't delete it unless you know explicitly how it's done and it's a very specific way of deleting a file. So let's get going. So I'm not going to waste your time any further. I'm just going to show you how you can do it. So echo, for example, stands for echo, you know, but just say hello, but malware might do, for example, a bigger string to just populate as much space as possible. And let's create these strings. So for instance, you need to have a full path, but you need to go C then you need users then for example my username that overflow then slash uh the folder ytv which is just a folder i created for this video slash home.txt for example and you can obviously create in the current folder there is this home.txt which contains hello but if you now type con.txt you can't obviously but if you just in front of the c add slash slash dot slash and then followed by all of this and click enter you can see the command has a ran and you just successfully bypassed the windows naming system for a file sort of and it just listened to what i told it to and if i type ls you can see that we have con.txt file created so you can see that there are these files which I just showed you and you can open home HTML, no problem. You can open hello.txt, no problem. But con.txt, yeah, you can't really open this file. Nor you can right click on it and delete it, nor you can rename the file. It's basically just now a file which you cannot do anything with on the system. 
So, if you're wondering how bad this can be, hackers might create malware, which might create millions of these files on your machine, and you're kind of stuck with them because you cannot delete them possibly. And it might also cause Windows some weird behaviors on Windows because currently there is a file con.txt which exists on your computer and you just can't delete it. You can't do anything about it. But don't worry about it. Even if you stumble upon it, I will show you how you can delete these files. And it's actually very simple. To delete a file on Windows, you might know there is a function, uh, sorry, there's a function called del. And for example, you then enter the path name of that file or just the file name if you're in the current directory and click, you know, enter. And as you can see, the file hello.txt, you can do that same for home as well. But if you do del con.txt, you can do that. You just cannot do that. No matter even if you put this, you just can't do that. It's no way because it just thinks that it doesn't exist. But how, how can you do it? Well, you have to again do del and then you have to do a full path, which is C slash uh, users slash dead overflow slash YTV slash con dot TXT. Obviously, this will fail. But in the front of the C, you have to do slash slash dot slash boom. Oh, wow. You can't even delete it. Oh, my God. I thought you could. There's no way you, you, you can't delete these files. What? You can't really delete them. Oh, my God. This is this is trivial to me. I thought if you do this, you can. Oh, my God. Maybe I have to use Python to do that. Hold on a second. Let me just import OS. Oh, my God. Let's go OS remove. Oh, my days. If I cannot remove a file named this, that that that's a problem. I might not even upload this video. Wow. You really cannot delete these files. Oh my god, you can't delete them. That's so bad. Not even with Python. Dude, I even told ChatGPT and I just told him I can't delete these files and he's just ignoring me. Okay, there we go. So I can't do this. I don't know. So I have to use pywin32 command to basically do this. Oh my god, I, I'm genuinely now scared because what happens if I just can't delete these files? That's insane. How do I exit out of Python? Z, there we go. Oh my days, this is bad. <laughs> Okay, the requirement is already satisfied, which means we can just use code to basically create a new test.py file. Uh, I have to be in the same folder, don't I? Yeah, so let's go with uh, cdytv and let me just uh, create a file here. Oh my days, if I just can delete this file, fail to delete. Oh my days, this is bad. <laughs> Nope, you can't do that. Apparently, you can delete this file. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to even actually bother with it. I'll probably try to figure out a way to delete these files. But if somebody create these files on your computer, it's gone. And please, for the love of God, spread the awareness about this because it's so powerful and bad. And if somebody knows how you can delete these files, please let me know. So this just points how why running anything on your computer is bad because it should just mess up your entire operating system to the point where you can't delete these files. It is a harmless prank, however, but if these files exceed like a normal limit, like in my opinion, 10 files is just just fine. But 100 files, if you can delete them or remove them from your desktop, it's going to bother you a lot. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you will learn something from today's video and hopefully you'll be ethical and responsible with this because it's very bad and hopefully YouTube will understand understand this don't use this against anybody of course it is it seems like a harmless prank but somebody you can ruin somebody's day and that's the whole point of it so please don't use this ever ever this video is just there to spread awareness about this because i thought you could delete them but apparently you can so there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching stay safe stay responsible and as always peace